Hello, in this video I'm going to show you another method on how to quickly determine if an email is a scam or not. And I'm going to be using a Firefox add-on called Web of Trust. In previous videos I've demonstrated how to use IPNet info to gather information about an email such as sender's location, IP ranges, host names and more. This video is going to show you how to gather the same information without installing a program. I'll be using a website called URL Void. URL Void is a free service that allows users to scan a website address with multiple website reputation engines and domain blacklist to help detect possible dangerous websites that are used to distribute malware and spyware to carry out malicious activities. And it's noted on the website that you should keep in mind that even if a website is listed as clean by all scanning engines, it is not guaranteed that the site is harmless. And it also says that you should always rescan a website that has a report older than one day. So with the web browser open, I'm going to begin by typing URL void. And then I'm going to click on the URL void link. And this is the home page here. Here's where you would insert a web address to get information about the website. Down here it shows recently submitted websites and then it goes into last blog articles and other recommended web services. So I'm going to come back up here. I have my emails open. I'm going to bring them over. And I have this one up right now. It's from Amy. It says, I like you. The message is, hey, I like you. I'm very thankful for you and to show my appreciation, I want to give back in a big way. My gift for you. And she gives me three links here to click on. All three links, Web of Trust is saying do not click on these links. The circle is red. If the circle is green, it means it's okay. If it's yellow, it pretty much means that you're entering at your own risk. Usually when it's yellow, it's on its way to red. Then after the three links, it says let me know what you think. Talk soon. Support. Then it says sign up bonuses for you. Two more links to click with red circles from Web of Trust. And then down here it has a disclaimer, by reading this you agree to all the following, blah blah blah. And then another link to unsubscribe with a red circle. Okay, so just from this, we already know with the red circles that we don't want to click on any of these links and this email is definitely bad. I've mentioned it before in other videos, contact clicks here is very popular in scam emails. And pretty much any time you have a name that ends in clicks, and it could be C-L-I-X or C-L-I-C-K-S or C-L-I-K-S, doesn't matter. If it ends in clicks, it's usually bad. And now I'm going to copy contactclicks.com right here. And I'm going to paste it into URL void. I'm going to submit it. And right there, if Web of Trust wasn't enough, it says right here, contactsclick.com is blacklisted. In other words, it's bad. Down here, it shows you all the different engines it uses. And the first three, Spam House DVL, detected it as bad. Web of Trust detected it as being bad. And SURBL detected it as being bad. Down below, it shows the Web of Trust reputation. Trustworthiness is terrible. Vendor reliability is terrible and privacy also is terrible. Okay, we'll do one more email here just to show you how this works. Here's an email here. The title is Credit Score Updated 11 August for Lance Rhodes. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to copy this URL here. Go back to URL void. Paste it into the box. Submit it. and it says this one is not blacklisted down below none of the engines found anything wrong with the page so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna paste that into URL void and this one is telling us that this is bad and you can see right here with the website address it's goo.gl and again it says it's blacklisted Scumware detected it, Malware Blacklist detected it, and Fish Tank detected it. Web of Trust has actually given it a good reputation. 
as soon as you see this or you see that blacklisted even if web and trust is saying it's safe don't go to it you can also check the connection you have the http response code connect time which is seconds the size of the header the size of the downloaded data and also the transfer speed under IP address it gives the sender's IP address the host name the continent the country code the city and even the region and it even shows you on the Google Maps here the location of where the email came from so that gives you a good idea of how URL void works it gives similar results as IPNet info does but again the advantage to this is that you don't actually have to install the program thank you for watching have a great day